Welcome to the Lawline Legal Minute. We have Jody Leake from the Carlson Law Firm to answer your question. Now, if I was injured in a collision and it was partially my fault, am I still, uh, can I recover compensation for injuries? How does that work? Um, I think at this point I'd have to get really um, lawyerly on you and ask you, you know, what the definition of fault is, because I think there's, um, there's legal fault and then there's personal idea of fault. I can imagine the scenario if you're doing maybe three miles over the speed limit and someone runs a red light and T-bones you, um, I believe that you can still be compensated and Texas has a comparative fault um, negligence standard uh, that allows you to still be able to recover a compensation if oh, okay. you're not 51% or more at fault. Well, great, great advice. Thank you so much. You can submit your own legal question or get answers to basic legal questions by logging on to KWTX Law Line or calling toll free 1 866 KWTX Law. This free service is provided by the Carlson Law Firm. We care, we can help. Welcome to the Law Line Legal Minute. We have Jody Leake from the Carlson Law Firm to answer your question. Should I hire an attorney if the person that crashed into me carries the same insurance carrier? I think in that situation it would be best to hire an attorney. Um, I think even the average person can see that there may be a little bit of a conflict of interest for the insurance company already having to pay for two vehicles that were damaged in the crash and um, it may be that the insurance company attempts to mitigate their damages um, paying out anything for like soft tissue injuries uh, that may have occurred in the collision. So in that scenario I think it would be best to hire an attorney. Great advice. Thank you so much. You can submit your own legal question or get answers to basic legal questions by logging on to KWTX Law Line or calling toll free 866 KWTX Law. This free service is provided by the Carlson Law Firm. We care, we can help.